Good day, learners! Welcome to another fun and exciting lesson. In the previous lesson, you have learned that the electrical circuit has four parts, a source, light bulb, wires, and switch. You also learned that in an open circuit, electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. While in a closed circuit, the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. This time, you will learn about the effects of changing the number of components in a circuit. Have you observed that in a series of Christmas lights, once one bulb is busted, the entire series of lights will not light up? Compare it with lights at home. Does it follow the same situation for instance, when a bulb in a room is busted, will the bulbs in other parts of the house do not light up? Christmas lights and light bulbs in your house have different kinds of circuits. One is a series circuit and the other one is a parallel circuit. Look at the illustrations carefully. Bobs that are connected one after the other in one chain is an example of series circuit. In a series circuit, electric current flows through a single path so when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in the circuit will not light anymore. The loosened or busted bulb breaks or opens the pathway so electricity cannot flow through. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken or burned out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own pathway. A break in one pathway does not make all the lights go out because electricity can still flow through the other pathways. So what kind of circuit do you have at home? If you turn off one bulb, what would happen if you used a serial circuit in your home? All the other bulbs will be turned off because in a serial circuit, there is only one path of electricity. Thus, the most appropriate circuits for homes is a parallel circuit. In such a circuit, each light and electrical device has its own path of electricity that even if you turn off one of them, the others will still function. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.